Let's talk a little bit about that Prescott Wall. Everybody welcome Kyle Moyer back to the stage, please. Now at Techo Block, we have 13 different retaining walls, 11 of which are double-sided and structural all of, in one, nine of which are a mix of two different sizes. We have three and a half and seven. We've got three and six. In this case, we have two and a quarter and four and a half, our Prescott wall system. And a lot of times you get out on the job site and, well, you just build it. You just kind of, you know, you're standing back and you're building some of the wall and yeah, that looks good. I like that. And you kind of keep, 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 blah, and you keep laying it into the wall. Oh, no, no, we don't like that seam there. Tear that little section down. Let's rebuild it. Do I build that way? Yeah, I built that way a whole bunch. But when you're building that way, you got to charge appropriately because it takes a lot of time to get that done. There are alternatives in some of the smaller wall sections. We call it modular wall construction. So we're going to challenge you today. We're going to build a little modular wall live here on stage. We're going to build module by module three little sections of this little wall and we want your feedback. We want you to come up during the break, sit on that wall out there, take pictures of it, look at it, see what you like and don't like about it. We're going to do some things kind of outside the box here. So let's start with our first course of block. We're using a three-piece system so we're going to call the smallest piece A, the middle piece B, and the large piece C. So bring me the thick units A, B, C. Let's start that way. A, B, C. So he's starting with the smallest units A, B, and C. So we're going to start with what I call a module of three, three units, the A, B, C. Now, Kyle, can I have some clips, please? Can you give me a bag of clips? Now, the clips are packaged with the block in these little bags. You get, well, way too damn many of them. I don't know why. <laughs> I've been here 15 years. You'd think we'd figure that out. I don't know why, but you get plenty of them, all right? And they are free packaged with the block. So now, bring me the opposite, CBA, so we can complete this module of three. Now, it's very difficult to get alignment on this. We're going to build vertical, so I'm using the back clip setting. Right? And I slide that clip in and I make sure I get good positive engagement between the independent mechanical device and the previous unit. This wall system does have a corner. We're not showing that now. We're just building modular construction. But we started ABC, then we went CBA, and we switched thicknesses. So let's continue on. We did a module of three. Let's do a module of two. Let's do AB. Let's just do AB. And we're going to start with a thin A. B. So we're switching our thicknesses, and again, we're trying to take the homeowner's eye away from the wall system. It is very difficult to get alignment right on this block because it has such a natural face and such a pronounced chamfer. Bring me the opposite BA in the thicker units. Again, I'm breaking my seams using the back clip setting to get my alignment. Now, this block has a thumbprint on the top of it. We always build thumbprint up. We send it to you thumbprint up. They are carrying it to me thumbprint up, and I'm going to build it thumbprint up. So now I have a module of three and a module of two. Let's push our luck. What do you say? Let's do a module of one. We have more B units in this wall system than some of our others, so let's use some of them up. Bring me BB, one on top of the other, starting with thick and then going thin. BB. So we're going to push our luck a little bit with a module of one. Our first course is a module of three, module of two, module of one. We're going to do this again. We know we have plenty of those units, and we want to kind of shake things up a little bit. Now we're starting up here again. Let's start with the thick units, and let's do AC, AC. So it works very quickly and very efficiently when I call out the sizes I need, and they know what I'm looking for. Again, using the clip, making sure I have positive connection between that previous course, that one of the lightweight units. <laughs> Super lightweight. We don't make anything lightweight. <laughs> Get that clip in there. Now, when I put the clip in there, you're going to see there's a little bit of play there. You always want to front justify the block. You don't want lateral load pressure, that's the earth, or hydrostatic load pressure, that's water, to move the block even a millimeter because that space introduces water, which introduces eventual failure. So you want to make sure you front justify those units. Bring me C and then A here on the end. 
Also make sure as you're setting these courses that you're good and clean between them. You're going to see in the lab in a little bit. We test block-to-block -block contact. It's called sheer strength. We do not test block-to-dirt-to-block contact. We only test block-to-block. -block. You want to make sure you get good solid connection. Let's go back to ABC again. Let's do ABC with the thins. We're changing our thickness. We're changing our thickness, and we're going to do ABC with the thins. Now, some of you in the front row can see that I've got two of the thins side by side here. I'm okay with that. I think that adds to the randomness of the wall system. So we've got ABC, and we're breaking all our bonds. So now bring me CBA, the opposite, another module of three. Okay. Getting those clips in. The clips are free. Make sure you get, use them. They don't add a lot to the interlock of the system, the independent mechanical device, but they make sure you get your alignment, which is very important in segmental retaining wall construction. Okay, so now we have module of three, module of two, module of one. Then we did module of two, module of three. Let's push our luck. What do you say? Piss them off a little bit. Let's do a module of one to start. Let's do BB, thick and thin. BB, thick and thin. So we're pushing our luck a little bit here. And again, you're the judge of it. You're going to come up during the break. You're going to look at it, sit on my wall, take pictures of it, and think how this could change your production rates in some of these smaller walls building with modular construction. Let's just go back to ABC again, starting with the thin. ABC. ABC again with the thin. So we're starting with a module of one. We're going back to a module of three. Now, I can't see the wall from where I'm building, so Chris is going to stand back, make sure, looks good, okay, make sure I don't have any seams that I wouldn't want vertically. I know I have two courses that are lined up. I wouldn't want any more than that. A, B, C, now C, B, A, thank you very much. Always making sure the block are clean, thumbprint up, clips are engaged, front justified, okay, C, B, A. There we go. I got you. Nice and clean between courses. All right. Is that A unit? All right. Let's do something different here. We're all, we're pushing our luck. Why don't you give me another BB here on the end? Let's go thick and thin, and that'll give us enough space for our cap. Let's go BB right there on the end. And again, you guys are going to be the judge of it, what you like and don't like about it. I know we have plenty of these. We're integrating modules of three, modules of two, modules of one. Okay, Kyle, you want to come around here? Hand me my light, please. All right, I'm going to gap this one piece around just so I can put in my hide fixture. This is a hide fixture from... Uh, in light and it's stainless steel has 12 diodes in it really nice picture this is the one I used at my house around my fire pit all right you guys ready to set some cap we're going to use our Piedmonte cap we call it thermal finish I don't really like that phrase because homeowners uh, homeowners don't know what thermal finish means anyone ever ask them they really don't so I like to call it eggshell texture I think that's something that relates b better to them Let's set that next unit into place. Get our alignment. And now you can be the judge. Building modular construction. What do you think the look is? Because obviously the speed is there. Kyle Moore, everybody, give him a round of applause. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Come up, sit on our wall, take pictures of it, give us feedback. Invite Kyle, invite Mike, invite... Kevin or me, we will come to your store. We'll fill the bed of our truck up with these wall block, and we'll do a couple of different installs, both random and modular construction, to find out how do we increase our productivity.